Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, are we right-sized today? Where is God in the equation? May 5th, thought for the day. I had to show off and boast so that people would think I amounted to something, when, of course, both they and I knew that I really didn't amount to anything. I didn't fool anybody. Although I've been sober for quite a while, the old habit of building myself up is still with me. I still have the tendency to think too well of myself and to pretend to be more than I really am. Am I always in danger of becoming conceited just because I'm sober? Meditation for the day. I cannot ascertain the spiritual without my intellect. I can only do it by my own faith and spiritual faculties. I must think of God more with my heart than with my head. I can breathe in God's very spirit in the life around me. I can keep my eyes turned toward the good things in the world. I am shut up in a box of space and time, but I can open a window in that box by faith. I can empty my mind of all the limitations of material things. I can sense the eternal. Prayer for the day. I pray that whatever is good I may have. I pray that I may leave to God the choice of what good will come to me. When we were drinking, we had our walls up, and we lost our own identity, but we had to present an image to the outside world. Our disease is a great actor. We start to believe it ourselves. Down deep, we feel insecure and fearful, but in order to perform in the world, we do what we can to survive. It looks like boasting that we look down our noses at people where in reality we are trying to figure out if we are exposing ourselves. Conceit is defined, unduly favorable estimation of one's own ability or worth, overly positive self-regard. It is not conceit. We build a facade to keep our illness going. Our obsession is real. We don't want it, but it is. When our brains block out the love for others, when we disparage others, we need to look inward to see what is really going on. Usually, it is lack of God in our lives, lack of love for others and ourselves. We take alcohol out of the equation and our higher power shines. If we fall back into our delusion, our thinking gets cloudy and fearful thinking overtakes serenity. Humility defined. Freedom from pride or arrogance, being right-sized. It comes from our faith in a higher power. When we admit we are powerless and find a power greater than ourselves, we are right-sized. No better, no worse. The booze has been removed physically. Now we've made progress removing it mentally and spiritually. We stay sober by living the spiritual God principles in our lives. We live it by how we interact with others in the world. We live in love. Love is returned, and we feel the presence of our higher power everywhere we go. The interpersonal energy is vibrant. We appreciate every living person by keeping God in everything. We stay connected by staying connected. The God in me sees the God in you. Namaste. God does the providing. We are his helpers and we don't have to worry about results. We live in integrity and love, sharing our thoughts and prayers to be useful. Our lives are miracles, and we like paying it forward. 
When our likes and desires line up with righteous living, we are on the broad highway. Consider, are we right-sized today? Where is God in the equation? May 5th, thought for the day. I had to show off and boast so that people would think I amounted to something. When, of course, both they and I knew that I really didn't amount to anything. I didn't fool anybody. Although I've been sober for quite a while, the old habit of building myself up is still with me. I still have the tendency to think too well of myself and to pretend to be more than I really am. Am I always in danger of becoming conceited just because I'm sober? Meditation for the day. I cannot ascertain the spiritual without my intellect. I can only do it by my own faith and spiritual faculties. I must think of God more with my heart than with my head. I can breathe in God's very spirit in the life around me. I can keep my eyes turned toward the good things in the world. I am shut up in a box of space and time, but I can open a window in that box by faith. I can empty my mind of all the limitations of material things. I can sense the eternal. Prayer for the day. I pray that whatever is good I may have. I pray that I may leave to God the choice of what good will come to me. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.